In America, who has the right to attack your life? America is supposed to be a land of opportunity, a land of happiness and the flourishment of the right to life. When someone's life is attacked by a group that is unknown and in the shadows of night, how does a person respond? How do they feel? But more importantly, how do they keep themselves safe from the monsters in the night? Since we're heading into October, basically, and in the midst of a Halloween time, when a lot of mischief likes to be had by people of all ages and stations who just love the holiday in the wrong way, we have to ask ourselves, how do we remain safe in our own homes, in our own spaces, our, in our own property that we manage? Whether our property is in a home officially, or an apartment complex, or a townhouse, or a mansion, or an estate, doesn't matter. Whether our home is actually in travel bags because we're homeless, that should matter to people. You see, you may have a structure of a house today, but you may not have it tomorrow. My point is that if I wake and find cords that are mine, in from my pockets, missing, and they're not somewhere around where I'm sleeping, it means that some immoral person put their hands and illegally in my pockets. And I gave no person that right. My intimate future partner is not at the present moment in this community. I've known that individual 10 years, and I might be okay with her borrowing something from me in the night but she would always be loving and kind to kiss me, to wake me and say, honey, I need this. And I'd be like, okay, and I'd go back to sleep. But the truth is that immoral people do this. Ugly people do this. They have not learned the rules of God in terms of thou shall not steal, which is a construct in many religious books from around the world because the Lord provides us with the things that we need through our own efforts or through his speed of caring for us. The other point is that we have intimate space boundaries, social constructs that are sometimes different in different cultures. I learned when I lived abroad and when I've studied other cultures and nations with my late spouse who loved to learn about those things and love to talk about the differences in how we socialize and what topics are and are not appropriate for a man or a woman of an adult nature to speak about with someone from a different culture. You see, each culture has something different, but when we're in America, we have a standard process for business and other things. Not everyone believes that. Some people think live and let live. Yes, that is true, but your rights do not entitle you to put your hands immorally and illegally in someone's pockets, in their briefcases, in their travel bags, in their dresser drawers, in their vehicles, without permission or consent.